pleasure being here and talking about how to build AI agents. But today we're not going to talk only on classic agents. We're talking about agents that can go to the web and do real activity on behalf of us. So our agent will be able to click and scroll and do any web activity so we can get rid of information. So think about it that you're starting your day and you want to ask your agent, hey, go find restaurant in my area, but let's go deep. What is the average menu prices? What is the 90th percentile of the review score? Classic agent can go to the web and gather information, but web agents can go for a specific website, can click and scroll, get all the information that we want to get out of the website, and right now we have structured table. This structured table is way better and different than any other agents that we will just run ChatGPT or Copilot, because this agent can go to the website itself. Let's try to have this specific query on any LLM of your choice. So I'm running here and I'm asking, hey, provide the information of, of this restaurant. And the agent will go, it will run, it will try to fetch information. But here it find an article that provided the information that I wanted. Not really, because if somebody gave me the average review score and wrote an academic paper, it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for an agent that can going to do the real activity that I need in the web and stream back the information. Let's unpack that. Web agent can solve complex queries. Think of fleet of endless browser that can run millions of interactions. They can click, they can scroll. They can go for a specific website and extract the information that we need in order to answer the questions that we want. Classic agent have just web snippets. But is this agent can go and find the information. The second part of it, the agent can go and structure the information, all the facts that's been in the website, and then get a structured data set, and we can understand how this data set came from. After we have the data set, because the agent went to the web, structured the information for us, right now we can run SQL, and then we can do join, select, and actually manipulating the data to find average and other ex extremely important information. Eventually, the last part of this process is that we have live trusted table that any LLM BI tools or even applications that we are building will be able to interact in real time. So again, the difference between web search and web agent is that web search has been optimizing to retrieve information per our user intent. Web agent has been built and deployed in order to allow us to run multi-agent processing query reasoning to actually drive the results. Let's see where everything came from. So search started back in the day and build for speed. Every query is like milliseconds. Web agents build to take longer time and eventually to dive, deep dive into the website and provide the information that we want. We also search 2.0. That's augmenting search with LLM, take a bit more time, but eventually it's the same snippets that we're getting out of the web. Right now, any LLM can go get a lot of snippets from the website. What web agents allow to go and do the full activity in the, in the web itself, and eventually getting JSON per cat, running SQL. These agents are scalable with compute and don't have the classic limitation of search that you can control the algorithm because this web agent, everything you can do, you control it with code, and then you get structured information the same way that you want. Because you can build the journey of this web agent to answer your specific business question. Some queries need deep dive research first. We all know the feeling or the interactions that we're going to ask our data people hey, can you provide me information on something? But if we're getting the answer too fast, sometimes we're not trusting it because specific queries need to have deep dive research first. It's better to run overnight and come back with the data. Web agents are not designed to provide information extremely fast. They're designed to go deep, they're designed to analyze, and eventually they're better to run overnight 
and not running exactly when you need the information. Here is a classic example of web agent that's been deployed in production for global beverage company. This global beverage company came and said, our sales reps going into the field and they're trying to sell our beverages. We want to get restaurants, menus, all the information about our leads so anyone can ask their questions, where should I stop today? Which outlet stock my competitors are selling and what are the prices? How many drinkable items they got in the menu? Or what special events or promotion happening this week? This information is available on the web. This information is available on the web, but we need to click and scroll in order to get the information. They build web agents to do territory scout on behalf of their people. It's starting with scrolling the information. This agent can go deep for all the interaction in the website. It's finding the restaurants, clicking to the menus, going to the events, and combining all that information into one format. It's extracting everything. But right now, all this data is not just in the context window of our LLM, it's in our database. Once the data is in our database, we can unlock way better results than any LLM of our choice. This example, we see how this agent that's driving in production is replacing gigantic amount of research and human labor in order to extract this information. In the past, in order to build this type of a genetic system, we need humans to gather the information. Offshore company or consulting companies, we're paying them big bucks in order to go and search in information. It's error prone because humans got some limitation. If you will task a huge amount of interns, go for websites and extract information, the data is not going to be accurate. Other, after that, we need to structure the, the table and we need to build pipelines. In the past, we need to hire data teams three to five people to structure the information for us. Right now, we have agents that donate for us. And eventually, we don't need to have the business analysts that build their own reports for us with very little of configuration and engineering time. Our sales rep can actually drive results. This is one example of web agents that have been deployed in production that replace hours of humans with minutes and eventually unlocking scale, speed, a strategic focus. Here, what we have done, we have been deploy our agent into Azure Foundry. And with that agents, you can go to the Azure itself. You can choose which agents you want to play, and I'm going to run live demos in a, in a second. And you will see how this agent deployed on Azure can drive results and the data directly into your fabric. So here is that example, find the best pizza near Seattle Conversion Center. We are here. Let's see what the agent is providing for us. The agent will look for reference. He will find all the information that we want. He will scroll down and get inside all the information. He will pull more. So on the back end, the browser will go click and scroll and provide us all the information so the agent can run faster. Here, we also type to that and deploy it with deep search. Because we have the async workload that go and provide us the information, and then we can buy, build any front end of the agent of our choice. So here is that example. It's going on and building us reports that we can generate with anyone within the organization. Here it's running Nimble that's going to the MCP server and gather all the information. And right now everybody can use it. So it was a, a great to see that, but let's go live. Here I've been coding this agent this morning with VS Code and I'm playing with Copilot and ask him provide me the agent because I know I'm going to be here. I want to make sure that we have the best recommendation. So let's go to a Foundry. I'm going to the agent playground and that being available for all of you directly from today. And I'm telling you, hey, I'm convention center. I'm looking for restaurants, but let's say that I want to have a private room because I have a great meeting for somebody I met today and let's see what we have. So I'm going to run it right now in real time. The, what the agent is going to do right now behind the scenes, the agent's going and finding all the information, decide what website to go, decides where to click, and it will start doing research on behalf of me. 
This research is something that in the past I need to do by myself. I need to go to the website. Or I need to go and pay a lot of money for research companies that will do it. Right now, Copilot doing it for me. And this agent is deployed on my Azure environment, so it's secured, it's getting with all the limitations that my as organization have, and I have full observability. Here I'm getting all the reviews for um, a nice places here, and it will go deep, and I can analyze and I can decide what level of compute I want to put inside. Specific queries are more important to me, so I'll pay more. And specific other queries, I want to spend less compute in order to get the answers. So I got really nice results, but I want to show you the behind the scenes, how the agents know where to click, how the agents know where to scroll. So I went here to the Nimble console. It's a process that takes a few minutes to run. And I told him, go to a specific restaurant and find all the information, all the private room events for dinner. The agent started to do the reasoning. He's breaking down our task and planning what should it do. So step one is getting the restaurant website. So we're getting into the restaurant website, and we started with taking a screenshot and the computer vision know where to click and scroll. In the second part of it, you want to start looking for the private group and dining. So right now the agent knows that I need to click on that page in order to get more information. Classic web search will not go and do the clicks on behalf of me. Just find the information that's been available. Classic search don't have JavaScript rendering. We'll see that in a second. And the agent will keep going and getting more pages out of it. Eventually it will land to the page with the information that I need. So right now the agent finished the journey and also give me the configuration template to set it as a recurring task. Because the next time I'm going to run it, I don't need to run computer vision with multimodality. I will use way cheaper SLM to extract the information faster. This is the power of the combination of web agents that you configure it one and then you can reuse them. And the difference between web agent and search agent is laying down first and foremost for the most important thing the ability to run browsing activity, JavaScript rendering, navigation within pages, is real headless browser that provides us the information. It's not embedded HTML snippets. The second part, which set apart web agent from classic LLMs that's going to provide search, is the ability to get structured table in SQL format. When we structure the information, we can analyze aggregation and do some other stuff. When we just have huge snippet, a huge blurb of information, as classic LLM, we cannot get average and more secure information. On top of that, we can schedule the web agent and go to do the activity on behalf of us. So we don't need to wait all the time. Let's say that we're going to update our agents once a week, once a month, or once a quarter. This agent can do all the information and store the data in our database. So right now, any BI team since we want to build visualization, that's my team we're going to use it on a day-to-day -day basis, they can start using it. And we see this presentation in the boardroom. The web agent's going and find all the information on leads or competitive pricing or services that have been available. And then the BI team builds reports that's been available with researcher and other co-pilot activity. This is classic architecture of web agents. It's starting with which information do we need and then how we want to set it up. If we know which data sources we want to cover, if we know what schemas and data outputs that we need, if we do understand what async workloads that we need to run, because let's say that we have SKUs with 10,000 SKUs, I don't need to get it every minute, get it every day or get it every week, so this workload can run it at night and then all the user can query it in real time. Eventually, the last thing that I need to know is compute cost. I need to set up what level of compute I need to run, so every agent will have the allocations that we need in order to get it. So this was a very fast and live presentation on how to build your AI agent and how to plug AI agent. Here is our MCP, so you can get in um, to this GitHub um, scan. You can get all the interaction with our cookbooks, so just copy, click and deploy it in your environment, and you will have your own web agent running on Azure, 
um, study for today, and you can find tune any web agent, price comparison, uh, lead scoring, booking up restaurants. And if you want to get great recommendation for a restaurant here in Seattle, reach out to us. Thank you, guys.